hand on her chair and I started to take it away. But I didn't I didn't fuck I didn't whip her chair out. I just started slowly taking it away, slowly pulling it out from underneath her. And I'm still telling her just to stand up. And she still refuses to. So I kinda I take the chair out from her. But I don't again, I don't whip it out. I just uh, as I take it out I kinda tilt the chair as I t pull it out, I tilt it down to kind of place her on the ground. I didn't drop her on the ground, I placed her on the ground. But she fell maybe like two inches, her butt from the chair to the ground. Because like, you know, I tilted the chair forward as much as I could, but I couldn't, you know, get it flush with the damn floor. Anyways, all she had to do was stand up in, at any time and she would have been fine. So anyways, she falls the whole inch or two to the ground, and then she starts crying. And uh, I'm just like, whatever, get out of here. And she keeps crying, and she won't even leave the room. I'm like, leave the room, go outside and cry. And she just, she won't leave. So finally, the co-teacher had to like drag her out. I don't know, she's a per she had a personality problems or something. Anyways, so so now I'm on the coastal highway. I actually missed the road. There's a freaking the road that I just came down. There's like a, a, a road that leads off of it, that goes diagonal and comes out like up ahead. I missed the turn off, so I'm backtracking a little here, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, so... Um... What is it then? Oh yeah, the girl. So then, anyways, the girl goes home, tells her parents that I, like, whipped her chair out from underneath her, and she, like, fell and, like, hurt her bum, and she could have cracked her skull open from the fall and blah, blah, blah. And the parents come, and they start, like, they make a fuss. And then they go and ask my co-teacher what happened. And my co-teacher said that she didn't even, she did, like, she didn't even notice the girl, like, falling down. Like, she just... Because it was, I don't know. Anyways, uh, there's another goddess, like a, a goddess of the sea. She like looks out of the ocean and uh, tries to protect the dolphins from the sea. Anyways, so yeah. So anyway, so that my boss is like, you can't tell a girl to stand up. You know, you're fired. And I'm like. I've seen you beat kids with a fucking stick until they bleed. I've seen them whip like kids' hands with bamboo sticks until their hands bleed. And I'm like, I tell a girl to stand up and you say I'm too strict and you know, you beat kids till they fucking bleed and then, and, and hello? And uh, I've seen him, he makes kids like put their hands, like their hands on the ground, with their face on the ground and then their feet up on a desk. So their body's like at an angle, it's kind of like doing a push-up kind of thing, but they just have to hold that position for like, he made one kid hold that position for like an hour. And he made the, and he had the kid's like butt up in the air, and then he told another kid, every time the kid's butt lowers, tell me, and, he'll, and, I, and I'll give him like ten lashes. Uh, the guy, was that a wave or was that a slow down? I think it was, I don't know, it was either like a slow down or the guy's like, part partially physically handicapped. There's dragons here. Want to see dragons? I've been here in the past where the blue dragon is shooting water out and the red dragon is shooting out smoke. They had it hooked up that way one time. It was really cool. It was like water dragon versus fire dragon. And then you got a, a little temple in here. It's kind of a weird temple. I don't... It's not, you know, it's not really Chinese-y. You've got like huge, huge uh, idols. Tigers and I like dolphins, but not together. It's kind of weird. It's very, very different from the other temples. Most temples here are very, you know, like old-fashioned, very cultural. And this one is kind of like slapped together with bricks, but it's got these two neat dragons up front, and then the inside is kind of just 
there's like a, kind of like sheds with idols in them. But it's different from the other one. Anyways, um, yeah, look at the outside of it. It looks like a freaking, looks like a rundown barn or something. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he'd make, them, he'd make the kids put their feet up like on a desk and his, their hands down on the floor. And the kids have to hold that position. Well, without, without one kid, he made it. Well, there was one time he punished. You know what the kid did wrong? Uh, he went, there, like, our school is on the first, second, and third floors of a building. And the fourth floor is not ours, so it's off limit. And the kid went up, like, three steps towards the fourth floor. And then a teacher walked by and said, why are you going up the stairs? You're not allowed to go to the fourth floor. And then they, uh, and that, that was it. So he went up three stairs towards the floor that he's not supposed to go on. But even if he made it to that floor, the door is locked and there's nothing there. So the kid went up three steps. And his punishment was to put his feet up on a desk, his hands down on the floor, and to hold that position for an hour. Every time his butt low, and stick his butt up, so he's kind of at an angle. And every time his butt lowered, he would get like five lashings. And, uh, and just from holding that position for so long, the, the, the blood rushed to his head, and it couldn't really escape. So he started, his face started to bleed. Like, he started to get, like, blood blisters all over his face. And then, and then, even though he had the blood blisters on his face, but at the time the hour was finished, he had to, he had to get his hands, his hands hit so many times that they bled as well. And that's for my fucking boss at Bashy, uh, town. Uh, the school's name is Baden Powell. And, uh, yeah, so. So, so anyways, um. Yeah, so that's, that, you know, the, and it, the same guy that does those kind of things tells me that I'm not allowed to tell a kid to stand up in my class. He told me if a kid's wearing a hat, or like a baseball cap in my class, and I tell the kid to take it off, and the kid refuses to take it off, he says I'm not allowed to take it away. You know what I mean? I'm not allowed to take a, a, a baseball cap off of, like, an, an eight-year-old kid. This guy, oh, look at this speed trap, and luckily I wasn't feeding him. Yay for me. That's probably why the guy, that, you know, earlier on a guy waved to me and his wave was like this and I'm thinking maybe he's telling me to keep my speed down. And he probably is. Thank you, YouTube, you know. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that I was talking to the camera, I definitely would have been speeding. The fact that I'm in the middle of a story and trying to think and stuff is, is bringing my speed down. Yay, YouTube.